So far we have been using only filters which have no feedback. So now we are introducing filters which have feedback and they are called IIR filters. IIR stands for infinite impulse response. in contrast to our previously defined FIR filters which is finite impulse response. So the FIR filter, the finite impulse response of that was just generated by the trivial fact that this delay line at some point ends. So we, we've got a certain number of delay steps here, so a finite number of delay steps. Yeah, so if we are sending a signal through all these tabs here. And this comes out here again, so that's our x of n and that's our y of n. And we are sending a signal in here. Then this signal will slowly progress through this filter here. And depending on the on the age of n here, our impulse response, we are getting a certain impulse response. But this impulse response stops after this has has traveled through all these delay steps here. So the impulse response generated here by y of n, so that's in this case, if this is a delta here, that's our h of n, then this is here finite. Finite because we have just a finite number of delay steps. So that's pretty trivial, and that's the, the reason why this filter is called finite impulse response. But here in this section, we are dealing with filters with infinite impulse response. So how do we generate filters with an infinite impulse response? And the idea behind this is that IRR filters with infinite impulse response have feedback. And with feedback, we are generating an impulse response which, which lasts in theory forever. So IIR filters, so they employ feedback to generate an impulse response which lasts for infinite time. Yeah, so the simplest way or the simplest IRR filter would be just one delay step. And so what we're doing is we send this output of this delay step back to the input and then creating our output here. Yeah, so something like this x of n and then the y of n. So we are creating here feedback. Obviously if we are sending in a short pulse into the system here, depending on this on this factor here, let's call this here b depending on this factor here, this will circulate forever. If b is um, reasonably small, then this obviously will decay. If b is um, is too large, it will just getting bigger and bigger. So in both times, the impulse response will last forever. 